Hello, how are you? I hope the September was a good month for you. Of course, you cannot expect to be the best of all, but we just gonna have to do our best under such corona turmoil at the moment. Well, it's already October and we have no public holidays in Japan this month, but Korea, uh, has some and the China has some in the United States. Yes. Uh, however, now October, it means it's already uh, two more months to go this year. And uh, it's the autumn in Japan. Uh, you can call it autumn or fall. Uh, many North American people use fall but the Europeans tend to use autumn more often than fall. Both are correct. So either one you use it, it's not a mistake. Now, October, what do we have? Well, recently uh, in Asian countries, Halloween has been becoming more and more popular. Or maybe, um, I would say, more people would spend more money on Halloween uh, each year. But do you know the origin of Halloween anyway? Well, it originally from Europe, of course, uh, the United Kingdom, Britain, and uh, Ireland. But then that culture uh, travel to North America and uh, it changed a little bit in the United States of America. But because its origin was from the UK uh, many, many, many centuries ago, perhaps I would say eight to 700 years ago. So many English speaking countries also celebrate uh, slightly different from uh, each other, but in Japan, yes. And when is Halloween anyway? Yes, uh, it's the, uh, the last day of October. Uh, it is kind of a strange that uh, it is something to do with Catholic. But uh, November the 1st is called All Saints Day. So that is kind of like uh, the sacred day or holy day. So that uh, uh, a lot of evil spirits or ghosts or all those kind of things uh, cannot be effective because it's the holy day and uh, especially catholic people traditionally practice that they would sing a song in the church of course christian church christian songs and among them there are some scary faces that's the effect uh well indicate they are indicating the ghosts uh, saints' faces singing along with you. Very similar to Bond Dance of Japan. The uh, ancestor spirit would come back to this world and they would dance with you at night. It's almost uh, similar to that. But then today, uh, rather, Protestant churches and also non-Christian uh, countries, people enjoy uh, celebrating Halloween. What would they do? Well, one of the famous phrases, trick or treat. Trick would be something damaging uh, on your cars or the houses or breaking the windows or uh, throwing raw eggs on you, uh, 
those kind of naughty kind of things, right? But then or means you choose. If you don't like the tricks to be made on you, then you're gonna have to give those children treats. Treats can be many different things. So what is your treat? For me, one of uh, the most wonderful treat would be nice food. Uh, started with nice salad, good meal and perhaps nice different kinds of cheeses and maybe chocolate cake for dessert with nice cup of coffee followed by okay for, i would say some little drink or fruit that would be one of the most precious uh, treats that i can have what about you some people think a good sleep. Some people think traveling a nice place, uh, well, to visit. And some people think meeting good friends would be a nice treat, of course. All right. Today, we are going to review four idioms. Uh, it means be careful. Okay, do you know the idiom for that? For example, if uh, someone says, be careful, that means you should be careful, of course. But instead of be careful, what can you say? That's right, look out. So look out where you're going. Next, uh, let's say, I don't think much of this book. It means, yes, it means I seldom think about it. Seldom means hardly ever, almost never. So you can say, uh, you don't think much of that news, means you don't care much about that news. Okay, the next idiom is uh, for the time being. For example, uh, we have to limit our action, traveling, meeting people, or any other uh, activities for the time being because of COVID-19 infectious spread. So it means for the present, for now, for this present time. So you can say, uh, we have to limit our actions for the present, for the time being. So you and I are studying English for uh, the time being, for the present. Okay, the last one is uh, shake hands. It's not shake hands going like that. Uh, 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 uh. Shake hands usually means this way. What does that mean? What does shaking hand indicate well yes if two people are shaking hands that means they are introducing one another okay so uh, or sometimes uh, shaking hands mean agreements for example okay you would tell a child, okay, you can help uh, cleaning the house. Then I will help you with your homework or something. Shake a hand if you agree. If you don't agree, don't shake hands, something like that. Okay, 
Well, I hope October is going to be a good month for you. And uh, let's see how we can enjoy our Halloween this year. Until next time, bye for now.